A couple of friends are driving around late at night, probably just to unwind for the day and have a good time with one another. During the drive, one of the guys in the car says that he thinks he saw some sort of animal, like a buck wandering around in the bushes right next to them. It almost seems like they are about to get out of the vehicle to take a closer look, but as you'll find out why in just a second, it's a good thing they didn't. Uh, I think I thought I seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is it a buck? What is that? Dude, that's what a what the heck look how big its arm span is like arm arm upper torso and then the middle part of its torso just looks so thin along with its legs like it's just so built on just like the upper part of its body here it's just super super bizarre yeah, and its skin almost look gray one more time here you seen a big buck or something wait wait stop right there what is that is it a buck what is that dude that's what a wait wait stop right there what is that is it a buck what is that dude that's what a Besides the obvious creature jumping in the woods that oddly resembles the urban legend The Rake, a lot of people in the comments are confused as to where the YouTube channel Paranormal News received this video because the channel is Russian owned, but as you can tell, the men in the video are very much so American. Regardless of who it was filmed by though, this is one creature you would never want to see. Even if it is fake, it would startle you, especially this late at night. A CCTV gym camera captures this slow moving white object at 6 in the morning. The strange shape appears to float in midair and even slightly changes form at times. Paranormal or not, experts have been ultimately unable to determine the source of this fluttering figure. I guess it might be a piece of lint or something that got stuck on the lens of the camera, but the way it slowly sways without going anywhere makes me think that this really could be a classic haunting. 30-year-old Alexa was returning to her Bronx home in University Heights when she got that feeling in the pit of her stomach. She detailed what happened to her in a Twitter thread in September of 2018 noting that she wrote the thread to warn women in her neighborhood to be aware that this person is out there. Alexa said she was returning home by Uber at 3.50 a.m., heading to the lobby of her building, when she got a strange feeling that she wasn't alone, as she suspected, and the building security footage confirmed she wasn't. A man had followed her through the courtyard outside and quickened his pace to enter the lobby right behind her. Alexa notes in the thread that she didn't see or hear the man watching her. When she was in the lobby, she realized there was a figure hovering outside the front door, waiting in the first entryway. She decided to double check the door locked behind her. She turned to the door to shut and lock it and noticed he had his foot on the corner, ensuring the door didn't close after she entered. She notes that the man likely intended to confront her outside the building, which is why he didn't enter the lobby all the way, or he was waiting for her to head toward her apartment so he could run after her and force his way in. Don't worry, he didn't have a chance. Alexa shut the door, moving his foot out of the way to do so. Unfortunately, the suspect had a scarf wrapped around his face to ensure he wouldn't be identified by security cameras. She notes that drivers should always wait until their passengers reach their front door safely. In her case, the Uber driver left when she got out of the vehicle. Alexa also remarks that, without the security footage to back her claim, her story would undoubtedly have been questioned and disbelieved. These stories should always be listened to and heard, and above all, as Alexa did, always trust your gut. This video looks like it was intentionally set up to capture something that has been appearing in a closet lately. At first, you can't really see anything, but after a while, the shadows begin to form into a human-like figure. The shadowy shape peeks out from behind the door, and at one point even appears to have two bright white eyes. The grainy quality of this video is a strong indication that it was edited. But then again, this may be a very old cell phone video, or perhaps a very early internet video that needed to be heavily compressed before uploading. The David Oman house is a supposedly haunted home in Beverly Hills that's not too far from where the Manson cult claimed the life of celebrity Sharon Tate. A team of paranormal investigators are busy taking pictures of a dark room at night with an infrared camera to detect heat signatures. Suddenly, the floorboards creak nearby as if someone is near, and this message is broadcast on their equipment. <laughs> the 
the team bravely decides to stay put instead of taking its advice. Not too long after, they develop this haunting photograph while snapping pictures in the dark. This heat signature undoubtedly looks like the outline of a human. While this photo could be doctored or simply staged, it could also be another piece of evidence that the David Oman house is anything but safe or normal. Who knows what would have happened if they had stayed there much longer. Okay, what the heck is going on here? I originally came across this image on a Brazilian YouTube channel. It appears that a woman in white is experiencing some sort of possession, as she seems to be levitating or holding herself up on the side of a wall with just one arm. Behind her, there are many crosses that she appears to have turned upside down. I assume because she's turning the one she's holding with her left arm. Unfortunately though, the video I came across did not contain the clip associated with this photo, so I decided to dig deeper and see if I could find its origin. And lo and behold, it did not take much to find its source. After running it through a reverse image search, I found the same photo in an article. It turns out this is from a hidden camera video that took place in Brazil. I guess maybe that's why it was on the Brazilian YouTube channel when I saw it. And this hidden camera video was a prank to promote the movie The Conjuring 2. So even though it turns out this image belongs to a staged video, the journey it took to find its origins was certainly interesting. I'm just happy I wasn't pranked with this like the people in the video. I imagine it was nothing short of terrifying. A TikToker named Sydney Carpenter is convinced that her Snapchat filter is detecting not one but two nearby faces. I don't think anything on this table or wall looks like a face, so I don't think it's a glitch. She tells it to stick its tongue out. If it can hear her, and it does after a moment's hesitation, I don't think it's a coincidence. But watch this part for yourself and tell me. Stick your tongues out if you can see me. Do a bit. Yo, there's two of them. <gasps> Later on, it appears in a totally different place than last time. Like before, the Dalmatian appears to give the answer that yes, it is in fact up to no good. Are you good? Are you bad? She starts speaking to the remaining dog, and upon being asked if it was good, it disappears instantly. Are you good? It disappeared. Which I guess stands for no. There's just way too many strange interactions like this one that makes sense for me to ignore. YouTuber named Michael JP86 is recording a cemetery late at night to see if anything strange will happen. Sure enough, a mysterious light materializes in the distance. What is that? Is that car stopped over there? At first, they suspect it could be the headlights of oncoming traffic, but when no vehicles drive by, they realize, much to their horror, that the light is actually coming from within the cemetery itself. According to Michael JP86, the rectangular shape shown here is actually a doorway made of pure light. Watch again in slow motion, and you'll see a small figure run into the doorway moments before the light fades away. If this isn't paranormal, then let me know what you think caused the light to appear, and also what the shadow running into it was. A TikToker named Mark Anthony catches this strange activity at a post office after hours. Some kind of hanging display swings all by itself while an identical display stays still. I think it could just be blowing under an AC vent, but then again, in the very beginning you can see all of the other wall displays in the other door stay still. So it is weird that out of all of these, only one moves. Folkloric creature is insanely creepy. Published to YouTube by Romeo Candid in November of 2007, this clip claims to show a real Maninagal. Some info on this mythical creature. The Maninagal is a traditional and mythical Filipino creature that's likened to a vampire or a witch. The details of this horrible creature's prey are even freakier. It is said to prey on pregnant women, especially those who are sleeping. New lovers or newlyweds are also prime targets for the Maninagal, which is said to have been abandoned at the altar. 
Now onto the clip. The video shows a group of people just hanging out in the dark, shining their flashlight everywhere. There's nothing for a while but darkness. That is, until everyone starts screaming as they see this ghastly female creature with black hair and greenish skin appear at a short distance. <laughs> The creature turns to them as they cry out in horror. Many in the comments are rightly freaked out by this. YouTuber Andrew Gibbons offers a first-hand account of the Maninago folktale saying, Well, one thing I know for sure that I heard from an elder is that it's an old folktale to keep kids out of the woods at night time. YouTuber Chow Saiso One adds, Some say that they heard it flap its wings while they're in their houses, but who knows, it might just be a bat. He also says that some truly believe that these creatures are real. After watching this video, do you have you ever come across a video so scary that you don't want to inflict that feeling of impending doom on others? This video was posted by Hirsch Dutchie to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor asks for some help in discerning what's happening here. Dutchie is in an abandoned house that's littered with junk. While wandering around the space, he arrives at the kitchen. You can see the cupboard door is slightly ajar. A moment later, it opens wider on its own. The Redditor said he didn't notice this strange event at the moment. It was only when he was showing his mother the video later that he realized something unseen might have been in the house with him. Well, Dechi asked for help explaining this, and plenty of Redditors rose to the occasion. Many in the comments of this clip suggest that the wind and the open door were involved, noting that you can hear the wind and see the plants moving outside. Nails or anything like that. The Redditor agrees that it's probably the wind, but wanted to see what others thought. Whether or not there may be a paranormal theory, he also notes that the wind wasn't blowing in the direction to open the door. Redditor Kaliana78, however, appears to disagree with the others writing. If it were the wind that blew that open, why wasn't all the junk blowing around as well? What do you think? Is this just another episode of wind and air streams causing movements in inanimate objects? Or is there something seriously dark going on in this house? There's an area in Ithaca, New York that's hiding a pretty creepy secret found by a TikToker named Lil Pack. Go on Google Earth and enter these coordinates to find it. As you walk under a bridge, keep looking up and to your left and zoom in after every step. Eventually, you'll find the same pale-faced creature poking out from the shadows that Lil Peck found before. This alien-looking face almost has to be the work of graffiti and not a real bridge-dwelling monster. It looks like it's peeking out from the shadows at first, but I'm pretty sure this actually is a steel support column and not a darkened corridor. But still, I could be totally wrong. The only way to tell for sure would be to travel to this bridge in Ithaca and see what happens to you, if anything. A YouTuber called Wet Tent catches a poltergeist in action in his home. As evidenced by this slamming door, he shows that there is nobody on the other side and then waits for it to happen again. It's creepy until you see his window is open, so it could be a breeze. And here at 13 seconds, you can see a tag on his covers move in the wind. I just wanted to show this video because I think that it could help explain other videos with slamming doors. Still, I would not totally discount this video. Wet Tent should make a new one with the window closed and see if it still happens. Become a storm chaser or head to the cellar. This homeowner did both when the Cedar Rapids derecho storm blew into his neighborhood. Published to YouTube by E. Hindman in August of 2020, this footage shows a quick as lightning storm roll in, one that devastated Iowa for hundreds of miles around. Hindman said he daringly took some footage of the storm out his window window, setting up a camera there before safeguarding himself in the basement. What he captured was half an hour of one of the most brutal storms you'll ever see. 
The video shows the storm rile up ferociously, wind and rain whipping through while tree branches roll like tumbleweed down the road. At some point the trees are just being thrown full stop. The sturdy looking pine that stands in Hinman's front yard, which has made it this far, doesn't make it out alive. Its stump breaks clean in half and another larger tree falls across the yard. They are blown away with the others. Heinemann writes, The damage in this area of Iowa was like being hit by a 40 mile wide tornado. The storm took four lives, cut off power to nearly the entire city, contributed to the record tying $16 billion worth of weather damage that impacted the US last year, according to the Washington Post. What's beneath your floorboards? This clip was originally posted by TikTok user Unfortunate Existence. The TikToker was replacing her carpets in her home when she came across a secret trap door. Captioned, when you pull the carpet off your floor and find a basement you never knew about. The footage reveals that the secret door led into a secret cellar. Admittedly, the creepiest thing about discovering a hidden room in your home is the question of why that room was kept hidden, but we'll get to that only after we've explored it. The basement is equipped with a set of wooden stairs, so it looks as though its location was known by the past tenant or owner and the basement was used. The TikToker captures her first descent into the secret room on video. There's nothing much in the room but a bucket in one corner, a garbage bag that appears to be empty under the stairs, an old chair and desk behind the stairs, and a disassembled bed frame. There's also a large red liquid splatter on one side of the room, which the TikToker calls a little concerning. She notes that it doesn't smell decent down there. When all appears to be relatively normal, the cellar light suddenly switches on, throwing a wrench into her investigation. Does someone know that she's there? That's more than a little concerning. Did you know that man has explored more of Mars and the moon than we've explored the depths of our own oceans, which leads us to some of the strangest oddities on Earth, including this one, the giant's pyrosome, looking like a large transparent tube slide. A giant's pyrosome is comprised of thousands of identical clones of zooids that form an up to 60 foot hollow cylinder that can be wide enough for a grown man to fit inside. The free floating tube appears like a ghostly discarded piece of see-through fabric, known as sea pickles. Giant pyrosomes are bioluminescent, which means you can see them glowing blue-green in the sea at night. Published to YouTube by Ross Overstreet in June of 2018, and supplemented by footage from Luis Bringas in December of 2014, this giant pyrosome off the southern coast of San Clemente Island will send you off the deep end. These videos show the creature in action, or rather in action as it floats unobtrusively near the seafloor. What would you do if you crossed paths with this oceanic nightmare? Would you be brave enough to swim through? And more importantly, would you make it to the other side? Redditor, everyone is human shared the following video to reddit with a short read up that says my sister-in-law's ring camera captured this tonight i have never been a believer but i am struggling to dismiss this please weigh in on it so let's have a look and see if we can help the uploader in figuring out what was filmed on the camera that night so I need you to focus your attention. So if we're looking at the center beam here, about dead center on the center beam, and then to the left, about halfway in between this center beam and this beam here. And you just see that thing just move. All right, now it's, and now it's between these two beams, just huffing it down the sidewalk. Still on camera here. But it looks like whatever this is, it, it almost looks like the ghost of somebody out for an evening jog as it starts on the left side of the sidewalk here and just continues down the sidewalk for the entire video. Whatever it is almost appears kind of translucent as well. You'd think if it was just a person, like an actual person out for a jog, it would be a lot more visible on camera. It would, it would just look like, a, you know, just a regular person on camera. This almost looks not only translucent, 
translucent, but it's kind of floating in the air. I can definitely see why this uploader, who is usually a skeptic when it comes to this sort of thing, is having a hard time coming up with a logical explanation of what exactly happened on the security footage. It certainly looks to be some sort of ghostly figure out for an evening stroll, but one can only hope that's not the case. Some viewers suggest that it could actually just be the camera that's making an ordinary person look like a ghost. Is this actually a ghost walking around in clear view, or is this just a camera trick on a regular person? I'll let you decide. Former President Barack Obama once had a Secret Service agent protecting him who has since become the center of many eerie rumors and unsettling theories found online. This video shows the agent standing a few rows into a crowd during one of Obama's speeches. The agent is very broad, but his head and neck are far narrower and more angular than his wide shoulders or body. He also repeats the same set of odd movements over and over again. The agent behind him does not, but it's this far shot that has raised the most questions. The nose, jaw, and chin all appear to be the same length. The brow is set far back, and the eyes are weighed down by the neckline, while the crown of the head and the occipital bone are disproportionately enlarged. I think it's hard to say for sure in both videos because of the distance. If we get a third video that was closer and more detailed, then a more accurate determination could be made. However, I don't believe this mysterious agent was ever spotted again. There's nothing wrong with an imaginary friend, but when these friends turn evil, playtime is over. Published by Breakman in March of 2021, this video has been making the rounds in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community for good reason. The video shows a girl playing alone, or at least she first appears to be. With her doll lying beside her, the girl is reading a book. Whoever she's reading with keeps turning the page. The invisible hand seems not to bother the girl initially, as she just flips the page back and keeps on reading. But then she clearly gets frustrated with her imaginary friend's impatience and cries out about it. There also appears at times to be something peeking around the corner behind her, something with a white face. Is this imaginary friend actually a ghost that resides in the home, or is it something far more sinister? A redditor named Danny3LG are making a funny video when they accidentally capture a morose visitor in the process. Something taller than the entertainment center looks out and ducks from view. In the split second, I see the top of its head, along with a pale brow and two solid black eyes. If not a ghost, what else could this be? Posted in March of 2020 by YouTuber Steve Ronan, he explores what he describes as an old church that's been around for a hundred years, with power still on and with rumors of rituals still being performed there. Accompanied by paranormal investigator Andrew, Steve and his team set out to explore this temple, which Andrew claims holds dark rituals inside. It's no great surprise then that demons supposedly haunt the place. They arrive on the scene of a truly spooky abandoned place at night, a cemetery surrounding it, overgrown with foliage. Inside the place, there's a door that leads beneath it, which reminds Steve of an abandoned place he previously explored with a tomb below. Opening the door, there appears to be firewood and mason jars down there. As they continue to explore, is in the temple, is that an overhanging light starts swinging. Supposedly no one touched it. They start to hear noises. Yeah, you were with us. Did you just hear that? No, I no, no. Hello? Oh. You guys hear that? A scream that sounds like a little girl, a sound from the light which Steve describes like a spine cracking. Oh, what was that? That was like a little girl. Bro, the light's it's moving back again. It just went. You didn't hear that? Yeah, the light just went. It sounded like a, like a spine cracking. They consider exploring the room below, but a load of spiders prevents them. As they continue around the temple, on the ground they find a pile of burnt books and some cards laid out. 666. Six, six. Another six is placed above, though Steve is unsure what it all means. As Andrew is messing about with an AM FM radio, Steve feels something on his back. He says he feels like there's a spider there. 
He removes his coat so that Andrew can check it out. There is no spider, but two red marks streak across his back. The pair of scratches run from top to bottom, as if he's been branded. Steve says it burns, and also denies having scratched it on anything. They wonder if it's a trinity mark. Some in the comments of this video suggest that he accidentally scratched himself when climbing under the chapel. Others think that it looks like two lashes from a whip. Brooklyn Girl 230, however, offers advice. Those mysterious scratches are a warning to you to stay far away from these places. Seems like the smartest conclusion to draw here. A ghost hunter doesn't even get his equipment fully set up before he detects a paranormal presence on camera. Look how quickly this shadow moves by. The shadow moves way too fast and also turns in the opposite direction as he does, meaning it can't belong to him. Here's the shadow from a second angle, this time taken from the handheld camera. Clearly, this shadow is caused by something off camera, but whether it's human or not is up for you to decide. A ghost investigating TikTok account called Gateway Paranormal TN experiences brief success when they detect the frame of a ghost standing on the table next to them. Go walk on the other side of the desk. Is this what I'm at me? But the ghost disappears when he tries to get closer. What's especially odd about this video is how the ghost seems to briefly lean forward, as if trying to resist him, and then gets bumped out of the frame. I was thinking this looked too small to be a ghost, but when compared to the wireframe of one of the ghost investigators, it seems to be in normal proportion. Whether it's a real ghost or just a computer error, they aren't able to recreate it, so it might have been a once in a lifetime occurrence, to which we'll never get the true answer. It's gone. A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2 a.m. and are talking about what they should do next, when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What actually was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Oh, shit. Wait. Shh. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off, but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting, and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. For most ghost investigators, their only tool is their camera. These men, however, had other plans. Published to YouTube by Luan Mendez in December of 2019, this footage claims to capture the ghost of the girl in white. In the video, two men enter an abandoned house at night, calling out for the girl in white to reveal herself. The home and its surroundings seem empty at first, but as they wander around the house in search of the phantom, of course they find exactly what they were looking for. The first sighting of the girl in white is caught outside the home. They turn towards the doorway and, out in the field, the dark-haired figure dressed in a white t-shirt is standing at a distance. They scream in fear and rush towards the other side of the house. Lon manages to scrape his leg in the process. They return to the doorway where they saw the girl in white, but she's disappeared. Exploring the space more, they decide to enter a space under the home where the floorboards are missing. When one of the crew is down there, he captures the girl in white yet again, standing in the corner of the room above. <laughs> The other guy who's on the top floor hears his friend's cries and captures the door to the room closing at the same time. 
They both race outside to see if the girl in white exits the building, but she is nowhere to be found. However, when they return to investigate the room, the door starts to slam repeatedly. <laughs> This is the last straw for the investigators as they race outside and across the field, far away from the haunted place. Who can blame them? Kevin Ramos is holding a paranormal investigation session at the Fort Delaware, which was in use from the mid 1800s to the mid 1900s and is said to be ripe with spiritual activity even after being decommissioned well over 50 years ago. After a day of walking, they stop and ask a few questions to the spirits upon nightfall. Look what happens when they try to get to know more about the ghost of a person stationed here. Did you like him? Can you cross the rod if you liked him? First, a white apparition passes by, followed by a black shadow that one of them actually catches out of the corner of their eye. This isn't their reflection in the window, because none of them are walking, and in this exact moment, this person thinks they feel a tap on their shoulder and shine a light behind them to make sure. It definitely looks like something was near them to say the very least. Why she didn't say something as soon as it happened is something I don't know. I guess they were too scared at the time. A family watches television while one of them checks their phone in the dining room. No one is near the refrigerator and yet somehow this happens. On a different day, their motion-activated camera, which this family says does not turn on for dust, records this strange light for just a second and then nothing else for the rest of the night. Everything starts to become clear when this larger light floats into the driver's seat and then disappears. The family's grandmother passed away two years ago, and this is what she used to drive. All three videos, when combined with the recent passing, makes me think that their grandmother might be checking in on them, even from the afterlife. A TikToker named Sarimar Munez finds herself laid out across the floor in surprise. At this ghost sighting, which she is about to point out in a moment, she is singing a musical when a small gray face pokes into the shot and then retreats. The way it moves on its way out looks better than most edited videos, so either she put a lot of effort into this one, or as much as I wish it wasn't, maybe it's real. A YouTube channel called 3 Slash Amir AMR searches for what his video title roughly translates into English as the most dangerous magician. Though its glowing eyes make it look less human and more like a djinn, the Arabic word for demons and spirits. The way the eyes come into focus at 1 minute and 4 seconds looks pretty good, but I think it might be special effects because the overall resolution seems to briefly drop. White and red eyes look at him from outside of a window, and there's a really good look at them here at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, but these eyes look like they could be any of the city lights shown here when he goes outside. He does see the djinn standing outside of a window, eyes glowing white as ever. It disappears, then he sees either the same creature or possibly another one in the building directly behind him. Now feeling surrounded, he turns and flees this entire area, but not before catching glowing eyes looking at him from the window within. This TikToker has a haunted kitchen with two moving utensils. First, this spoon handle moves towards him, and there's no string visible against the dark wooden cabinets when it happens. All he can do is laugh in amazement as the spoon moves towards him, the handle even hovering in midair for a bit again with no strings attached. Ghosts are funny until they start coming to your house. I'll show you guys that I have a freaking poltergeist. I'm almost positive this video can't be real, but at the same time, I don't see how it's being faked. Give me your best guess as to how he made both of these utensils move without any string. Do you feel like someone's pursuing you? Then you should probably trust your gut. Published YouTube by Upbeat Yamaha in February of 2019. This video follows a motorcyclist minding his own business on the open road. Wearing a GoPro, he manages to capture a white truck in front of him, nothing out of the ordinary. 
Ahead, the truck pulls over to the side of the road. This too appears innocent enough, but after passing the white truck and later taking a turn onto a side street, seeing the truck continue along, you probably wouldn't expect what comes next. The biker returns to the main road, and the same white truck now a ways ahead pulls over again, letting him pass a second time. The biker starts to wonder what's going on. Even more worrisome, he thinks the truck is following him. He suspects the driver might be trying to record his license plate to report him for something. Although he says he hasn't done anything to report, he again pulls over at an intersection and attempts to wait out the suspect who has stopped as well. The biker says the man in the truck is attempting to wave him on. After a brief face off, the biker turns to the left, noting the guy's plate number and saying he was taking pictures of him. While the video doesn't come to any concrete conclusion about what the white truck wanted. The biker suspects that he's dealt with the same man before. Some in the comments think it's probably just some angry boomer who's mad about how loud the bike is. Others advise that if this happens again, to pull into a fire station as they most certainly will help someone being followed. A cautionary tale if there ever was one. For all we know, this lurker could have had even more sinister motives. A TikToker named Sarimar Munez finds herself laid out across the floor in surprise. At this ghost sighting, which she is about to point out in a moment, she is singing a musical when a small gray face pokes into the shot and then retreats. The way it moves on its way out looks better than most edited videos, so either she put a lot of effort into this one, or as much as I wish it wasn't, maybe it's real. A girl is coloring in the living room when her papers blow away despite there being no breeze. Even if the windows are open, the curtains behind her do not move, so this simply shouldn't happen indoors. When the little girl comes back to stare in utter confusion, it just gets worse. The room is silent, no fans are on, so how does this happen? If this is real, then it definitely has to be the work of a poltergeist. Maybe it's already even attached to her. There's nothing like Russian dash cam videos. They're usually next level crazy. This video clip is no different. A red Volkswagen is seen cutting off the driver with the dash cam and another car in front of him. So when they reach a red light, the driver decides to rev his engine and pass the Volkswagen. Big mistake. After they pass him, the Volkswagen speeds up again to pull around the driver and cuts him off, blocking his way forward. Then a man dressed in black gets out of his vehicle to confront the dashcam driver. After a very brief exchange of pleasantries, the Volkswagen owner opens the trunk of his vehicle and reaches for a golf club. <laughs> Apparently, the faintest confrontation in Russia on the road can lead to brutal results, of your vehicle at least. Things have been known to quickly escalate on the Russian roads. The silence and foggy stillness underwater are spooky enough, but encountering a ghostly wreck 20,000 leagues under the sea will put you in another world. Published to YouTube by Tim Powell in February of 2010, this footage captures the aftermath of the SS Thistlegorm in the Red Sea. The British armed merchant ship was powered by a triple expansion steam engine and built in 1940. A year later, in October of 1941, Germans sunk the SS Thistlegorm near Egypt. The ship was headed to Alexandria on its fourth and what would be its final voyage. The ship sailed south around Cape Town, South Africa. Due to the German and Italian occupation of the Mediterranean, an accident in the Suez Canal caused the cargo to be held up and moored at safe anchorage F for about a month, which turned out to be not so safe, since there is where it was sunk. Guided by local fisherman Jacques Cousteau, rediscovered the wreckage years later recording his findings in his book The Living Sea. Ever since, the shipwreck, which lies about 100 feet below the surface at its deepest, has been a hotspot for recreational divers, mainly due to its treasure trove of cargo. After all, it's a steam train that's been waterlogged for up 
upwards of 80 years. This footage is a window into its underwater world that fish, seaweed, barnacles, and coral reefs have now overtaken. With a name like Witch's Tower, you know this place is bound to brew up some terror. Published by YouTuber Mo Sarji in May of 2011, the adventurer takes on a return trip to the tower. Mo previously visited and experienced paranormal activity here and chose to go back. Mo says that rituals were done up in the tower of this historic building, so that's where he goes. As he's upstairs in the tower with the lights off, something downstairs clatters. Got one window open, not sure why that's open, but... Oh. What the f is that? Hello? He turns his camera light back on and asks, hello, but is only greeted by more clattering. A much louder and closer bang scares him out of the room and down the stairs where the other crew members have been the whole time. Hello? Guys? Oh, oh. The crew returns upstairs and to the tower to investigate. While there, a door closes right at the base of the tower stairs, launching Mo across the room again. <gasps> oh, oh. Up in the tower, they find pennies piled on a ledge and realize that was the clattering that Mo initially heard dropping from the tower. Sure enough, there are pennies on the staircase below. When they are checking out the small area under the stairs, where a load of bees are piled, another bang is heard in the other room. The dead bees were Whoa! They find nothing but another pile of flies and beetles on a windowsill. Another creepy discovery is an old Motorola phone which Mo finds on the top shelf of a closet. The three then hear something break downstairs. We can find down here. Omar's in that bedroom over there. And it turns out to be a broken mirror in the hallway. As Mo looks around the bottom floor for whoever caused the glass to break, he sees something or someone pass by. He tells the others that someone was walking there. After the door to the tower slams shut again, the trio are waiting and listening for something downstairs when the old Motorola starts ringing. Oh, 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 what the, the phone? Oh my, oh my phone is ringing. They go to pick up the phone from the floor and it appears to be off. They note the strange lines drawn on it, like some sort of symbology, and they throw the phone into a closet and shut the door. Heading back downstairs, they again hear something crash upstairs. When Mo goes to investigate, he finds the phone on the first floor landing. The last bit brings forth a lot of questions. How did this phone arrive here? What do the symbols mean? How is it ringing but not powered on? And most importantly, who is on the other end? A lot of people want to know where the line is when art goes too far. And the answer is when your painting starts moving by itself. There's no loud construction sending vibration through the walls, no jets overhead, no trains, just a picture bouncing against the wall. Maybe they put a magnet on the picture, and a magnet of the same pole on the other side of the wall to make them repel. Or maybe they should just move like he says. A TikToker paranormal team called Zodiac Supernatural is in the middle of the woods when this wild noise rips through an otherwise still night. Tell me if you can identify this creature, because it sounds Massive and furious. Really cold to be seen. I can't tell if it's being devoured, letting out a warning call, or just going crazy at their camera lights. I'm surprised that everyone doesn't immediately run away, which makes me wonder if they actually had some idea of what it was and possibly weren't telling us. So it's really cold to be seen. This demolition house of horror has these urban explorers walking on eggshells. Published to YouTube by Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration in May of 2021, Joe and Chris work their way through a pair of houses being torn down for demolition. Joe says they were contacted by the workers who were cleaning the houses out and were told they felt a presence here. 
and you'll definitely feel it too as you watch the video. Whatever is in these houses is making its presence known through whispers. As the explorers wander into the bathroom, you can hear incoherent whispering. A moment later, a man's voice says yeah, when asked if the spirits in the house will talk to them. Will you talk to us if there's spirits here? Later, more whispering is heard. May you give us some clues. And later again. Indiscernible what the voice or voices are saying. What is distinctly heard, however, is a growl that happens when Joe is positioning the camera down a staircase. What do you think is hanging around these demolition houses, and what will they do when their homes are destroyed? A group of ghost hunters are exploring a notoriously haunted retirement home in Ohio at 1 a.m. when they manage to find something strange and unsettling. Here's the bathroom. Here it is again at half speed. One of the ghost hunters barely manages to catch this fleeting shadow while turning around. The room to the right is completely empty and nobody is inside, plus everybody else is in a different section of the house. It doesn't look like the camera is simply adjusting to different lighting conditions, so there really is absolutely no reason for a shadow to be on the right side of the screen like that. To me, it looks like something is possibly making a quick escape. This is another video posted on my Chills Narrator subreddit by Redditor Calligram. In it, two girls recite a rhyme in Spanish to a doll that I'm guessing is named Catalina. I really want to know what they are saying, but more importantly, watch what happens immediately after they're done. Catalina, Catalina, vuelve a la vida. Lo que el diablo te da, el diablo te quita. At 40 seconds, there's a soft click, and a purple halo forms around the doll's head. And one second later, this fast orb races to the beads she's holding and then disappears. Now charged with paranormal energy, the doll does something amazing and creepy. En nombre del demonio, manifiestate hoy aquí y en este día. En nombre del demonio, manifiestate hoy aquí y en este día. Truly terrifying. A YouTuber named G, the one and only, starts off this video immediately looking creeped out and a little bit panicked about something, but we are not yet let in on whatever his current situation is. Presumably a friend of his starts to film him as he proceeds to walk into a room which is absolutely filled with bionicle toys, which is surely any young kid's dream, but maybe this set of bionicle toys are not meant to be played with. There's nothing up here. They are claiming that a bionicle's head moves on its own. Let's slow this footage down and see if we can see it. See, it's the tallest bionicle figure. Oh, I, I see it now. I think it's this one right up here. Although it only happens for just a brief second, if you slow down the footage and zoom in, you can see that the tallest bionicle figure standing up actually appears to move its head slightly all by itself. Of course, it is entirely possible that this particular figure is battery powered and has a built-in feature which allows for its head to move around, but that seems like reaching for answers. Plus the uploader who owns the toy is creeped out by this, so it can't be battery powered. He says that he doesn't believe in ghosts, but is having a hard time dismissing this clip. Let this video be a warning that not even your own childhood toys are safe from being taken over by the spirit of ghosts. 
A Reddit user named Calligram posted this video on the Chills Narrator subreddit, and it's well worth analyzing. Two men race to keep up with an ambulance to get a closer look at a strange person in the back. They are wearing a white sheet, typically used to cover the recently passed away, and yet they are sitting up and making a terrible expression. I noticed two other paramedics are with this person, and they don't seem too concerned at all. So I guess this is either the blank stare of a psych patient, or or else a ghost that they themselves cannot see. A YouTuber named Confuseo Mental orders a box off the dark web that he's not so sure about, so he puts on some gloves. The first thing he unfurls is an old scroll with what I think could be ancient Hebrew text. Translate it if you can. I will admit the paper itself looks like it could be artificially aged, but who knows? Wrapped and locked in a tiny casket with similar text adorning the top. Again, translate if you can, please. Something tells me that this is either a blessing to help guide this tiny soul to the other side or else a warning telling others not to open it. A warning that's totally ignored as he continues to handle the object. I'm curious about what these numbers across the top with the letter E at the end could mean. I'm sure someone out there is smart enough to figure this all out. He puts a mask on ready for the stench of something rotting, but instead finds this extra creepy demonic doll and look into the center of its eyes at 26 minutes and 13 seconds. They're reflecting light. Now that's certainly creepy. A TikToker named Presley Belshare is making a video when her closet door opens from the inside. Coincidentally, it happens to be at the exact moment the male backup vocals kick in during the song, which unfortunately I don't think I can play in this video. Presley Belshare says that she did not plan this video at all. I probably believe her because when the door opens, it looks like a white flash of light comes from within the closet if you look close enough. Let me know if you think I'm way off base or if you think you can see it too. Imagine you are simply enjoying your night by sitting out on your nice balcony and listening to the peaceful sounds of the surrounding outdoors when suddenly you hear something that disturbs your peace and you can no longer find yourself able to relax. Well, that's exactly what happened to a man named Diego Asaid while on his balcony one night in San Bartolo, Tutotepic, a night of relaxation simply turns into terror when this happens. That's freaky. You just hear those cries coming from the distance. It reminds me of the witches in Left 4 Dead. But nevertheless, that is just absolutely terrifying. Just a completely empty street. Could you imagine just walking home and you just hear the faint cries of somebody? That is just so bizarre. And it just keeps going and going. A dog in the distance seems to be barking at whatever is making that strange, eerie sound, but we never see what the source of it is. This happens for about another 30 seconds before the video shuts off entirely without any sort of answers being given. Understandably, a popular theory is that this crying sound is coming from La Llorona, a Latin American folklore of a ghostly woman who is said to roam various areas crying because she lost her two young children. La Llorona is a tall ghost with a long veil and a straight posture, but sadly, we never see any sort of figure appear in this video. Let's just hope that Diego didn't have another encounter with whatever was crying out in the streets that night. This footage, published by Paranormal World in August of 2019, shows a scenic mountain and forest opposite an overpass. After completing a full 360 to take it all in, the camera falls to the cars whizzing past below before returning to the mountain. This time, the mountain isn't the only thing carving out the sky. A Godzilla-like creature peeks out from behind the mountain. At first, one might mistake it for the mountain itself, but it slowly begins to move, voiding that theory. While many in the comments say this is a good edit, some are more concerned by the man's reaction. YouTuber Dap writes, 
If there is a Godzilla, you are running, not chewing gum. That's probably true, although other people note that the creature is friendly, so perhaps the cameraman had no need to fear him. Still, seeing a creature the size of a mountain would probably get your heart pumping friendly or not. following was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Urban Ghost Hunters 901 While filming B-roll in an abandoned church for a future overnight investigation, he caught something frightening on camera. One camera was in a fixed place, capturing a steady shot of a book set on a railing, surrounded by lit candles, while the cameraman was behind the other camera, filming the rest of the room. You can hear the book hit the ground loudly in both shots, while the steady cam captures its fall. <laughs> Nothing visible pushed the book or caused it to fall to the floor. In the comments, Urban explains in a more detail what happened. I was going to do a pan up shot from the back of the church, and as I started to pan up my camera blurred, as if it were trying to focus, not saying it's paranormal because it was in low light, but as it blurred, and I was looking through the LCD display, I saw something fly right in front of me. Seems like something paranormal had arrived. When you play with the paranormal, you're bound to get burned. Think it's probably time to get out of there. Most people know not to move after they've been in a wreck, but a TikToker named XOXO Kate is getting turned up in a car that's been turned upside down. Through a shattered windshield, you can see they've been struck and are now hanging suspended. I know that their adrenaline is high, and the video is definitely an original idea, but I feel like they could have had internal damage to their organs that they don't feel at the moment and could be making worse. Moving their head around with a concussion would likewise make the situation worse than it had to have been. Like I said, this video is interesting, and I'm glad they weren't thrown from the car, because the aftermath looks really serious, but I think the proper procedure would be not to move until an ambulance arrives. Jake Atafi is in his living room, when someone pulls open the screen door really slowly and just lets it shut. No follow-up knock, no footsteps walking away, nothing. Even his dog is wondering what the deal is. Jake stops recording to check and claims no one was outside. It's creepy, but it's too bad he didn't record out of his window to prove that his house is as haunted as he says it is. A YouTuber is walking around the local swamps when he stumbles upon a tree unlike any he has ever seen before. Pretty Creepy. A grimacing skeletal face of solid oak emerges from the trunk. Its sagging eyes, ceased brow, pointy nose with two nostrils, and square chin are all clearly visible. You don't even have to squint your eyes or look at a certain angle to see it. It's there right away, and it's even sitting on a long twisted neck. There's no way to carve this, and the green speckles on its cheek perfectly match the markings found elsewhere on the wood. In other words, this isn't some kind of Hollywood sculpture plaster, it's an actual face found on a tree in the middle of nowhere. This six second video was taken back in 2010 and has been puzzling the YouTube community ever since. A YouTuber named Mark Grove reacts fast and manages to record no less than three specters filling the doorway to his living room. A closer look reveals what could be the spirits of a previous family that lived here. The one in the middle appears to be a child with a large adult to the left and a medium-sized teenager to the right. Mark Grove claims to have seen a fourth ghost in this video, but I honestly don't. The one to the far left is apparently just a chair according to the description. So let me know what the fourth one is if you can see it. A YouTuber named Nellis is exploring a haunted mansion in Bosnia where many people lost their lives during a dark chapter of their nation's history. Active minds dot the surrounding woods so they have to head straight inside. One of the first things they see is what they think are belts hanging from the ceiling that people could have looped around their neck, though I think they could have been hooks from hanging lamps. 
and there's them belts again. Look up there, there's them belts. Do people hang themselves? There's definitely people here. I think they sat around there. We see them again up close for a couple of minutes later, and they aren't belts at all. But I still don't know what they were used for. But wait, forget about the ceiling. Look at what's hanging against the wall. Going back to the first clip I mentioned earlier, it seems it was there all along. This video comes from the haunted far side lounge in Colorado. A woman sitting in the bottom corner is the closest person to what you're about to see and both their hands are full and yet this remote seemingly moves all by itself it's as if something is picking this up moving it slightly and putting it back down meanwhile the drink next to it stays perfectly still she even notices it at the very end so this is one of those problems that is either completely spontaneous or where everyone is in on it and plays along the problem is i don't know which Val didn't like going to school this video will validate your feelings posted to youtube by alan ubig in june of 2018 the uploader writes the ghost of the Victoria School Lagoon was captured on CCTV yesterday at 9 a.m. A man is sweeping the floor, minding his own business, when about 10 feet away, two items which look like standing dustpans glide across the room, moving from one side of the path to the other. No one else is around. The strange thing is that the man cleaning just watches this happen, but doesn't react whatsoever. Maybe he's all too familiar with the Victoria School ghost. Who or what is playing here? Is it something that can be explained? Or is this school undoubtedly haunted? While exploring an abandoned house, make note of what happens in your periphery. Published in March of 2021, the footage you're about to see was recorded in France around 11 p.m. as a pair of paranormal investigators round the corner of a dark, empty room. They discover that it isn't empty after all. Just beyond a picture that's leaning against the wall, a figure moves quickly out of sight as the light falls upon it. It happens so fast that it's difficult to see what the figure even is, but it appears as though it's crouched slightly as it rises up before pulling out of view. The two-man crew approaches the hallway to investigate, but there's nothing there. Did it somehow soundlessly disappear into one of these rooms? Or as we suspect, did it disappear into thin air? It's midnight when this ladder starts walking by itself in an apartment building garage. It looks like it has to be the work of a ghost, but it's actually on a very gradual ramp moving down. This middle section of the ladder, called a spreader, looks like it's too worn out to lock in place anymore. And so the ladder almost tips over and then catches itself, taking another step forward in the process but still somebody has to bump the ladder first to get it moving so if this just spontaneously happened out of nowhere then that's a cause for concern thank you so much for getting me to 20,000 subscribers here on my clips channel if you want to support please press that subscribe button let's get to 30,000 subscribers next thank you